We see different types of plants around us. Some are big and some are small. But have you ever noticed that all plants, either big or small, thin or fat, share a similar structure? So today we will learn about different parts of a plant and why each part is important to the plant. Like we human have different parts in our body like hands, legs, nose, ear etc. They all are important for us as each part perform a different role. Same way plants also have many parts. Each part perform different tasks and are very important for the plants. In short, the plant has two major parts. The part below the ground is called as root and the part above the ground is called as shoot. Let's look at the part below the ground first, that is roots. Roots are very important part of the plants. They fix the plant into the soil so it doesn't fall over. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil that plants require for their growth. Now let us look at the parts above the ground. Do you know how water and nutrients from the roots travel up through all the parts of the plant? It is through the stem of the plant. The stem is the upper part of the plant. The flat green part of the plants that makes food of the plant is called as leaf. Leaves prepare food in the presence of sunlight, water and air. Leaves are known as kitchen of the plants. The most beautiful part of the plant is the flower. Flowers come in all colors, shapes and sizes. And flowers turn into fruits which we all love to eat like the yummy mango. Mm. So we saw the plant has two main parts, root that grow below the ground and shoot that grows above the ground. This includes stem, leaves, flower and fruits. Now let us look at each of these part in some more details. Are the roots of all plants of the same type? Look at the root of the bean plant. We see it has one main root which grows from the end of the stem into the soil and many small roots grow from this main root. This main root is called as tap root. You all must be liking carrot and radish, I am sure. The carrot is nothing but a root, the main root of the carrot plant and it has many small roots that are growing from that main root. So carrot is a tap root. Now let us see the roots of the green onion plant. They do not have one main root as you can see. Instead they have many thin and bushy roots growing from the end of the stem. These tiny and bushy roots are together called as fibrous root. Let us see another example, grass. Here also many thin roots are growing from the end of the stem. Hence. Its roots is also a fibrous root. Have you seen a mango tree? The stem of big tree is strong, hard and woody as in the case of mango tree. So the stem of a big tree is called its trunk. Above the stem the big tree divides into many branches. 
branches are then covered with leaves the trees have lot of flowers like you can see the flowers on the mango tree here and the apple tree flowers as shown in this diagram the flowers then change into fruits like you can see here the flowers of mango tree are now having yummy mango fruits on it and the apple tree flowers have changed into the juicy apple fruits whenever you eat mangoes or apples you must have found seeds in it correct some fruits have big seeds while some have smaller ones some have plenty of seeds like in watermelon and apple some have very few or possibly single seed like in mango or peach and some fruits have no seeds at all like the banana to summarize plants have two parts roots which are below the ground and shoot which are above the ground shoot includes stem or trunk which are connected to branches the leaves and flowers are attached to branches the flowers turn into fruits and most of the fruits have seeds in it simple this is it for now kids bye bye